today's video I wanted to put together a gift for my brother that's partly going to be bought and partly DIY. So I bought this case and obviously I'm keeping the silica gel packet that came with it. I have a whole load of tissue that I've been saving up over the last few months that came in any packages that I've bought. So I'll be using that to package everything nicely. And then the first thing that I'm going to get for this is a tea warmer. My brother is obsessed with tea and he has a lovely little cast iron kettle like the one that I have. So I thought I'd get him a tea warmer, two tea cups that match it, and then the DIY part of this is going to be for the teas themselves. As a lot of you know, I have quite a big herb garden that is growing bigger every day. So I thought I'd get some little pots that you can pop on the side and have all the tea displayed nicely. I'm gonna take all the stickers off that first, make sure they're clean, and then I'm going to be putting different teas inside them. So peppermint, chamomile, lemon balm, and then the other one was spearmint. I've already got a lot of calendula saved, and then I already have some chamomile saved. And the last two I'm going to need to make from today, since I don't have any of those backed up. To try and make this whole gift set look as cohesive as possible, I'm also going to be painting the lids. First thing I'm going to do is clean them. I'll be putting the chamomile and then the calendula into their respective pots first, making sure that it's all nicely stacked up. I don't want to pack loads and loads of plants in there. It's got to look nice and fluffy. I'll put the chamomile in there as well. And then once that's done, I'm going to move on to painting the lids. Since the mugs and the tea warmer are black and then also the kettle is black as well, I'm going to be using that black paint that you've seen me use so often in my last DIY videos and I'm going to be painting the lids. I would have liked to do a little Calmondin tea and using the citrus but at the moment I only have one Calmondin and the rest are still at the very early stages of growing so that wasn't going to be possible but moving on to the lids I'm going to be doing a few coats of this. I'm just using a fan brush it's a little bit easier to get the edges if you have a fan brush and I'll be doing three coats. This dries very very quickly so in between waiting for this to dry, I'm going to collect the leaves that I need for the last two teas, which are spearmint and peppermint. First coat is done, so now moving on to the peppermint. At this time of year, which is late autumn moving into winter, the peppermint and spearmint does tend to look a little bit rough. The best time for me to get this would have been in spring or even summer, and at the moment they're just looking a little bit weathered battered, so I'm picking out the leaves that look the nicest. There's nothing wrong with the other leaves, they just don't look as nice aesthetically and if I'm putting a gift together for someone, I want it to look nice. So I'll pick out all the nice leaves for the peppermint and then do the same for the lemon balm. If there's anything which is just looking a little bit battered or has maybe had a bug getting to it, which does happen, the slugs do seem to like the spearmint in particular, but I'll pick out those leaves, only keep the nice ones put everything out on the dehydration tray, dehydrate it, and while that's dehydrating, I'll put a second coat and then eventually a third coat. I'm quite excited to see how you react to this video because I am going to hopefully be doing more and more of these, especially on the lead up to Christmas. This year I think I'm going to be making a lot of the gifts myself for friends and family rather than buying them, partly for budget and partly because I enjoy the heck out of it. And now that we've got the garden more sorted and I've got a lot more things growing and that I'm able to make directly from my garden, that's something that I've always been looking forward to doing for a very long time, so I want to take full advantage of that. So let me know if this is the kind of video that you like. And if you have any requests for the kind of themes that you would like me to do, feel free to leave that. I'm always happy to get more ideas to make new videos. But anyway, going back to the video, after the lids are painted, I'm just going to label everything nicely. And I'm also going to highlight a mistake I made, which is that everything dehydrated shrinks like crazy. So I clearly did not pick enough peppermint, but at this point I'd completely run out of time. It was a day before my brother's birthday, so I just had to apologize and hope he didn't mind too much. So using that tissue, I'm just going to pack everything up nice and tight. I'm also going to be adding a little tea light into this since you need a tea light in the tea warmer to use it. And it's a bit awful if you give someone a gift and there's a part that they need to get. I just like to give everything in a nice big unit that just works right from the get go. I'm going to pop those teas in right next to each other. And I'm gonna try and alternate so that the really packed full jars are next to the slightly lighter ones so that it doesn't look so obvious that the peppermint is really not as full as it could be. But once everything's laid out, this is how it looked. And while it wasn't the biggest project to do, I was very happy with it and my brother was very pleased with it as well. So overall, I think I hit my target of a nice present for his birthday. If you 
like my content and want to follow me on Patreon, that's where you can find my early content, extra content, and see the thought process behind things like my books, cover designs, videos, and artwork. You can also find me on Instagram, but the best place to follow me and make sure that all my new content is sent directly to you is through my website and the mailing list. On the top right hand corner, you put your name, the email you want your new content to be sent to, and that's it. You're done.